Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of February 16th, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, on this Wednesday morning to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity, with thankfulness from our heart. Let us worship and praise Him, Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Let us lift a hand and thank Him, dear children of God. It is the grace of God that we are awake today, like us, many of them, who went to sleep when they said goodbye to this world when many of them have fallen into problems and difficulties when they have gone through many kind of turmoils many kind of climatic changes and difficulties when they are facing it but by the grace of god the grace of god by the grace of god to be awake this morning with good health tell him thank you is it not fair enough to tell the lord thank you lift your hand and tell the lord thank you father last a full morning for protecting us thank you father thank you thank you jesus thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night father we tell you thank you thank you lord thank you thank you jesus hallelujah with good health you who woke us up remembering your grace and mercy we tell you thank you we have woke up today it is for your grace by your grace hallelujah and we tell you thank you for that hallelujah father this morning you who is wonderfully leading us we remember your grace and we tell you thank you hallelujah father thank you this day for holding your hand and leading us father thank you thank you for you are joining before us father thank you you are behind us father in all our ways to protect us father Father, thank you for you have commanded your angels. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your arms of protection around us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The psalmist is saying in Psalm 32, beginning verses says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Verse number 7. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Verse 11. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. This morning, this opportunity, when the Lord has given to us, let us all close our eyes and we are going to pray together. Together we are going to pray. Do not be quiet at this time, but everyone, let us be partakers in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful, blessed time, we tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. We love you. Last full morning for protecting us for your grace. Thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night. Thank you. With good health, happiness to be a big father for the great privilege. Thank you. This morning also, Father, you who is wonderfully leading us for your grace, we tell you thank you. Father, this morning for holding our hand and leading us for your faithfulness, we tell you thank you. Father, this morning we pray for all who are hearing this voice today in the authority, in the name of Jesus. We bless and pray for your children. Let their family life be blessed. The children you have given be blessed. The way of living be blessed wherever they are. Father, a sign of blessing. Hallelujah. A sign of blessing that they would be. Thank you, Father, for you are making it in their life. Father, let them be a blessing to many and many. Thank you for placing them accordingly and blessing them. Hallelujah. Father, especially we pray for the sick this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we bless and pray for them. Let them be healed. Every bondage of sickness, let it be untied. Father, where they have got deterioration in their joints, where there is pain and those who are worried, we pray for them today. This morning, in the name of Jesus, let their joint be healed. Let joints be healed. Every deterioration in their joints be gone. Let their synodic fluid return back. Father, Every every anatomical changes in the name of Jesus, let it be gone and let it be normal, we pray. Let it be normal joint, we pray. Whichever joint it is, in the name of Jesus, let it be normal. Also, Father, every unnecessary nodules that is in the body, Lord Jesus, every tumor, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, be healed. We command you to be gone. We command you be, to be removed from the body. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, every tumor, every cyst, every fibroid, every nodules, in the name of Jesus, be removed, we command you. In the name of Jesus, leave the body right now. 
Thank you for the complete healing. Thank you for the complete health, Lord Jesus. We pray for children who are studying. Lord Jesus, you bless them in their needs, Father God. Let your grace be with them. Lord Jesus, your grace, thank you for it is with your children. Hallelujah. Father, give them the wisdom to study. Give them the knowledge to study what to choose. Father, pour your grace upon them. Lord Jesus, Father, like how they are standing before a tea road, where to turn, what to do, what to study, where to go. The children who are confused, we pray for them today. Lord Jesus, have your mercy upon them. Father, the right thing. Lord Jesus, what you have prepared for your children to see, give them the grace of Father. Hallelujah. Not what their parents have prepared for them, not what is in their heart, but Lord Jesus, what you have prepared for the children, give them the grace grace to understand that. Let the children not go astray, we pray. Father, to the social media for nothing, let our children be addicted, we pray. Father, to spend time with you, turn our children to be so. Father, to spend time with you, Father, turn our children, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. Let no one go in the wrong way. Every rebellious spirit, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, every rebellious spirit, we rebuke it, that which is disobedient to the parents, every evil spirit in the children, in the name of Jesus, we command you to be gone. Father, let your children be guided by thee. O Father, fill us all with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Fill us all with your grace, we pray. Let your name be glorified, we pray, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, fill us all with your grace. Hallelujah. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, Father. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let the Lord bless you all abundantly this morning. The grace of God, the peace of God, let it increase and over flow in your life i pray in abundance and let the lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning today further we are going to meditate from psalms chapter 92 verse number 1 2 and 3 it says it is good to give thanks to the lord and to sing praises to your name o most high to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp with harmonious sound. Hallelujah. Let us read that again. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. Every moment we should tell our Lord thank you. We should remember all that he's done for us and tell him thank you. When we sit, when we walk, when we are journeying, children of God, do you know, every time we take breath, if we can say thank you in that manner, hallelujah, it will be a great blessing. If our spirit is filled with thanking God, we will know, hallelujah, how we can receive the blessing from God. The more you say thank you unto the Lord, you can enjoy the presence of God. Hallelujah. For all that God has done for you, tell him thank you. For example, let me tell you, in a situation that I could have fallen off, say the situation, thank you for delivering me. You made me a wonder to many. You made me a marvelous to many. In all my needs, you were there with me. Even when you walk towards your vehicle, say thank you. Father, to walk to this vehicle and to drive it, thank you for your grace. When you walk to your office, when you go to your workplace, say, Lord, again to come to work, you give me the grace, I tell you thank you. When you return back to your home, say, Father, for making me come back home with good health, thank you. When your children go to school, tell thank you. When they come back from school to your home, tell thank you for everything. Tell the Lord, thank you for it. It is the grace of God that we are healthy today. It is the grace of God we are alive today. Hallelujah. And to sing praises to your name, O Most High, on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp with harmonious sound. Verse number two, we are going to think more. To declare your love and kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. To announce your love each day. 
Hallelujah. Waking up in the early morning and praising Him. Children of God, let me tell you an instruction. Early in the morning when you wake up, don't look at your mobile. Do not go and read a newspaper. But early in the morning when you awake, open your Bible, read a verse on your bed itself. Say thank you to the Lord. Give Him the glory. Say, Father, thank you for giving me a good sleep. It is the grace of God that I am awake today. Like many of many of them who went to sleep like me, have gone off from this world, have fallen into problem it is the grace of god i am awake today i am healthy today hallelujah when the thought that it is the lord who woke me up this morning we will automatically say thank you you might just it is not that we just woke up like that it is the lord who woke us up in the morning it is the lord who gave us a good sleep in the last night so to that lord I tell thank you do not go immediately when you wake up to whatsapp or to any other social media do not go to reading the newspaper but firstly say thank you for waking me up this morning read the word of god praise and worship him we know our earlier forefathers in back in our home countries Early in the morning, we could hear songs, praise and worship, gathering people gathering together as families and thanking God. Today, it is all ceased because in everyone's hand, there is mobile. When you got up in the morning, you look at the messages. Did someone call me? Did someone send a message? These thoughts are ruling our mind. Children of God, let me advise you, when you go to sleep in the night, just switch off your data. Early in the morning, arise and say thank you to the Lord for all that He's done for you. Say thank you. If possible, hear this morning message and then without a reading the word of God, do not get up from your bed. Early in the morning, arise and say, it is your mercy, I am awake today. It is your mercy, my everyone in the family awake. My dear ones, I awake because of your grace. For that I tell you, thank you, I tell you, thank you. Then read the word, sing song. Start in your families. You can see how blessing it is. Don't look at your mobile. At least one hour or half an hour. Don't look at your mobile. But if you can say thank you unto the Lord, it will be a great blessing. And then it says, and your faithfulness every night when we go to sleep. Tell thank you to the Lord for his faithfulness throughout the day. It is your grace that led me. My father, you are the one who held my hand and led me today. I could have faced many problems, difficulties, challenges, evil, sickness, problems. But by the grace of God, to return back to my home, you help me. I thank you to sleep peacefully. You give me your grace. I tell you, thank you. You led me. For that, tell him thank you. And then worship, praise him, lift his name on high. His faithfulness, it says, sing your faithful presence, hallelujah, all through the night, hallelujah, children of God, give God the glory, our heart should always give him the glory, hallelujah, when you sleep in the night, say thank you, and then meditate the word of God, hallelujah, when you sleep, dear children of God, meditate the word, before you sleep. For example, today we heard to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. So when you go to sleep, say thank you and say about his faithfulness. Hallelujah. And remember how he led you. Remember how he woke you in the morning, how you drew your vehicle, how you went to your workplace, how he protected your children, how he protected your life partner, the grace he gave to take part in worshiping him. In this manner, the Lord who has given you good health and made you to return back to the bed, remember His grace. It is the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Early in the morning. Hallelujah. The Lord who is protecting you for His faithfulness, tell Him thank you and then go to sleep. In that manner, when you do, you will not see any unnecessary dreams. Remember the word that you read. Meditate the word in the night. Hallelujah. And when you awake in the morning, remember the word that you meditated and tell him thank you. So in the morning and in the night, it is very important for a child of God to pray, to worship, to meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. Children of God, in the morning, meditate the word and then go out. Keep on meditating that word in your heart throughout the day. Keep on meditating and give God the glory. Start practicing this, children of God. You will see a great supernatural presence of God. And not only that, supernatural blessing will come upon you for where the presence of God is. There you will see his mighty hand. And in this manner to live, let the Holy Spirit help us. In the name of Jesus, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply and we will be great we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed we are continuously blessed and highly favored god bless you 
God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.